Fernando Alonso stopped, and I think we might be about to get an aborted start here as well, Martin. That's an extra formation lap. The 75th, 75th race since he last won a race. It's lights out and away we go then. Sebastian Vettel leads them away. Lewis Hamilton gets a decent start, slips almost into the path of Kimi Raikkonen there. And he's got three abreast with a rebel to one side of Daniel Ricciardo. Sebastian Vettel racing away then down towards the first turn. And Valtteri Bottas has gone into the lead ahead of Vettel, ahead of Raikkonen, Hamilton and Verstappen, Ricciardo. And then comes Felipe Massa. Through turn two they go and onto the runoff area goes the Haas of Roman Grosjean trying to make up places. But what a sensational start there from the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas. It's been contact down there somewhere. We'll cut back to that. Bottas, this is handy. We know he's really good around this racetrack. So that's a beautiful position for him to get in his safety car then. We've got somebody blocking the track. Oh, we've got a Williams. Stroll is round. A Williams of Lance Stroll spinning around. He can get going again. And there, the Haas of Roman Grosjean and Jolian Palmer also involved in contact down at turn two. Here comes Palmer now. Grosjean uh, on the inside. He's gone into Palmer. Palmer slews across the track and straight into Grosjean. Palmer just turned into me. I don't know where he was looking. OK, understood. Palmer turned into you. It looks like uh, Grosjean got in a bit hot up the inside of Palmer and he got retribution straight away, didn't he? On board with Valtteri Bottas. Brilliant getaway. Yeah. Mercedes have had excellent starts this year. And that was another one. So he picked up the slipstream. Vettel, smart enough to know where he was, and then just claimed the middle of the racetrack to slow everybody down a little bit. Yeah, this is Verstappen. Yeah, that, that was so close. Oh, the Mercedes that's... in between the Red Bull and the Ferrari. Watch Verstappen. There's a gap opening up now on the inside that he's going to take and say, thank you very much, I'll have fifth place. Good driving. That's brilliant driving. Racing once again at Sochi. Safety car is in. Valtteri Bottas has got a decent getaway. Bottas leads away from Vettel, from Raikkonen, from Hamilton, from Verstappen and Massa. See my right rear brakes on fire. How do you have a brake on fire after just two and a bit laps of racing? Yeah, I thought it was a tyre rubbing, but his brakes are going. He's out of this race for the second time this season. Daniel Ricciardo is going to have a DNF. The man just waving. Across his neck there is Paul Monaghan, the, the, the chief engineer, saying, nope, ain't going to happen. OK, Lewis, we are borderline on temps, but just do what you can do. This is good pace. Hamilton's temperatures rising, brakes and tyres at the moment, because he is getting closer to Kimi Räikkönen. Look, he's, he's trying to move, isn't he, Martin, into yeah. some, some cooler air. Finally, we get one of the top four into the pit. And it's car number 77. Valtteri Bottas to go on to the super soft tyres. But Ferrari may be thinking it's better to stay out, enjoy a bit of clean air as they've got now, and see where Bottas comes out and whether he gets held up or not. We are staying out. Pace is very good. Stay there. Ferrari have obviously gone for plan B, that message confirming it. Vettel's lap time's identical to Bottas. Obviously, nearly lap 30 on the ultra soft, hanging on in there. If they can go 10 laps longer at the end of this race, they could really apply pressure. We are 9.5 behind Bottas and eight tenths a lap quicker. Well, that's your win. We are behind Bottas. Confirm, we are behind Bottas. How did we end up behind him? Why we did it so early? He was leading the race, Kimmy. Ah, OK, I thought that they were the way around. He thought it was <laughs> Hamilton out front. This is your fellow countryman. That's going to really razz him, isn't it? Yeah. So Vettel stops on lap 34. So we now have a Ferrari out there on seven lap younger tyres. 4.6 seconds now, the difference. And what sort of flat spot is that going to have on it? Quite a lot, judging by that. That could be significant. He went wide at turn 13. He has a big flat spot on the left front. That is all Sebastian Vettel now needs to go chase after Valtteri Bottas. That one little mistake there might just have cost Valtteri Bottas the chance of winning this race. OK, pushing pressure on him, he will make a mistake. Bottas will get DRS as well now with the traffic. Well, that could be a saviour as well. Felipe Massa is lapped by Valtteri Bottas. We're on the final lap here. First threat, first big braking zone is alleviated there. Sebastian Vettel will need to clear Felipe Massa into turn four, and he can't quite do it. 
Well, not cleanly anyway. Manages to get past eventually, but that will have cost Sebastian Vettel time. It has. Hi, what was that? That was Felipe Massa doing his bit for Ferrari there. <laughs> or not. For the first time ever, Valtteri Bottas wins the Grand Prix. It's Bottas who takes it in Russia. Sebastian Vettel comes home in second place and Kimi Raikkonen will complete the podium. He won it off the start and kept his head under the most extreme pressure. Max Verstappen finished fifth. Sergio Perez and Esteban Ocon giving Force India two cars of the top seven for the first time since Belgium last year. Nico Hülkenberg eighth and Carlos Sainz takes the final points place. What a special moment for Valtteri Bottas.